What is up everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Gorilla Tag and how to move around in Gorilla Tag. This is the first of four videos that I am going to be posting and teaching you guys how to play Gorilla Tag. In this first video, I'm going to teach you the basics of Gorilla Tag and how to move around. So, without further ado, let's jump right into Gorilla Tag. Now, what you'll notice right when starting up the game is that it's difficult to move around. You only have your hands to move, no sticks, and no buttons are used. So, you have to hit the ground and any object to bounce off of and propel yourself in the direction you want to go in. So, I'm going to teach you how to move faster in Gorilla Tag. Now, the first thing you're going to want to take note of is that you want to move your hand flat around the ground. You don't want to hit it down to bounce yourself up into the air. You want to go at a parallel line to the ground. So, however the ground is angled, you want to keep putting your arm to the side. You don't want to bounce it up, you just want to basically slide your hand across the ground and you'll notice that if you do this correctly it'll give you a ton of speed. Now the other method is to roll your arms in a circle so that you move forward whenever your hand touches the ground. You just keep doing this motion of your arms spinning like a wheel and acting like it's a wheel to move yourself forward. I don't really like this as a way that I always move around. I prefer the parallel to the ground method, but if I jump from a high height, like where I am right now, that's when I like to do it because it gives me momentum to start my parallel running. When I do this right when I land, it'll boost me forward right when I hit the ground, so it starts my momentum because if you jump from a high place, you don't have any momentum, so this gives you a little bit of momentum. It gives me a boost and I can start running. And now I'm going to teach you a somewhat difficult method of moving faster and giving yourself a boost while already being on the ground. The method where you use your arm like a hook. As you can see, I hook my arm around an object or tree and I just propel myself forward. And it's a little difficult because you have to time it so your arm wraps around and you have to then push off of it. It gives yourself a boost. The tutorial for this is very simple. It's as I'm coming around the tree, I hook my arm around and I just push off of it. And that's it. I just hook, push. So you can watch this example here. Next up is to teach you how to jump. Now, jumping is pretty easy, but you want to make sure you jump straight up, otherwise if you hit it forward a little bit, you'll lose height where you gain distance. So once you've practiced going straight up, hitting your arms straight up, I want you to come over right here and try and get on the roof. Now we can do this by holding one arm down and bouncing with the other. So if you're left handed, you want to hold your right arm down and bounce with your left arm. If you're right handed, you want to do your left arm down and bounce with your right arm. So I'm right handed, so I'm going to be using my right arm. The reason we want to put our hand down is so that there is space under our body. With our body touching the ground, it makes it so that we don't bounce as high. So we hold one arm down to keep our body from touching the ground, as you can see. Now with this all in mind, you can try and jump on top of the roof, which with some practice will be very easy. Now, with all this in mind, we can learn how to wall jump. Now you'll notice that our hand sticks to the side of the wall jumping slab. So you'll use this to wall jump. So you see how it sticks, then falls, and sticks, then falls. You wanna do this three times in a row, this right here. You stick, then jump. Stick, hit off, stick stick hit off stick you want to do that three times on both sides once you've done this you can just repeat the process over and over until you start to wall jump up to the top of the slabs Now once you're up here, you can jump up to this platform to be on top of everyone else. And if you want to be brave, you can go across this branch and look at the forest. But for today, let's make it back to the other slab and I'm going to show you how to do something really cool. Now using whichever hand you prefer to jump with, you're going to hit the edge or corner of this slab to jump to this branch over here. You can then jump down to the branch below it and then jump all the way over to this platform and now you're on the other side of the map. 
Now my challenge for you today is to do this as fast as you can, and here's some footage of that right now. I want you to wall jump as fast as you can. Make it to the other side of the map as fast as you can. That way, you are able to get away from anyone chasing you as fast as possible. Now keep in mind that other monkeys are able to do a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you, but a lot of monkeys also can't do what I'm showing you, so you can still try to get away from monkeys. You can also wall jump behind the hollow tree, but it is difficult because it's not quite as smooth. So you gotta hit the wall depending on where it's angled. So it's a little more difficult, but keep practicing and it will be very easy in no time. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.